السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سو وی ور ڈسکسنگ نمبر سسٹم اینڈ ان دا پریویس لیکچر وی ڈسکس تھری ٹائپس آف نمبر سسٹمس بائنری ڈینری اینڈ ہیگزا ڈیسمل اور بائنری ڈیسمل اینڈ ہیگزا ڈیسمل اینڈ وی سا ہاؤ ٹو کنورٹ بٹوین دیز ٹو ناؤ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ ود اے نیو ٹاپک دیٹ از اگین اے پارٹ آف سیکشن نمبر <coughs> this has been a new uh, addition in the new syllabus whereas it wasn't there in the old syllabus that is binary addition binary multiplication and binary division now if you need to perform binary addition firstly both both numbers should have equal number of digits if one has lesser digits add zeros to its left until both digits both uh, numbers not digits have equal digits for example you cannot add because they have unequal number of digits this is 4 this is 3 so you'll have to make it into 4 how by adding a zero on the right left side now you can add okay rules for addition 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 10 or 0 is the answer and 1 is carried forward 0 0 0 is 0 1 1 1 is 11 or 1 is answer and 1 is carry 1 0 1 plus 0 plus 1 or 1 plus 1 plus 0 equals to 10 or 0 answer and 1 carry you have to remember these rules okay now add the 8 bit binary values this number and this number so first of all write it in form of columns this is the first number this is the second they both have eight bits so we do not need to add a zero on the left hand side now one plus one is ten so zero is placed here and one is carried now one plus one is again ten so zero is here and one is carried now one plus zero plus zero is one one zero is one one zero is one zero zero is zero zero one is one zero zero is zero so this is the answer of our addition simple right now another thing which we have in binary addition is an overflow error the largest binary number that an 8 bit register in a cpu could possibly hold would be 11111111 equivalent to the binary number 255 If one more bit was added to this number it would push the number above the capacity uh, capacity of the register and would cause an overflow error for example try adding 1001010 and 1001110 this is the first number and this is the second number 00001111010 one is carried 1110 one is carried 111111 one is here one is carried 1001000 plus 1 is 10 zero is here and one would be carried over here since there is no number so this one would become the ninth bit but if you have an eight bit register you can it cannot contain nine values so this is known as this ninth bit or answer is known as overflow error when the addition of two binary numbers give an answer <coughs> which is having an extra bit we say that we have encountered an overflow error for cpu to divide up acha next we have logical binary shifts mean divisions and multiplication for a cpu to divide a binary number the number needs to be shifted to the right whereas if the cpu needs to multiply a number it is shifted to the left each shift is equivalent to multiplying the binary number by 2 and each shift right is equivalent to dividing <coughs> the binary number by 2 for example divide 10101011 by 4 now this is the number and its binary is 171 since each shift means division of 2 so for dividing 4 we need to perform two shifts because 2 into 2 is 4 so shift 1 all the bits take one jump 
towards the right hand side okay so this big be one becomes obsolete because it jumps out of the boundary and this one comes over here this 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 comes into its place and in this its place we have a zero since there is nothing so we add a zero <coughs> now we perform the second shift this comes over here this one comes over here let me draw some arrows so this one goes over there and is deleted then we have this zero comes over here this one comes over here this zero comes over here this one comes over here this zero comes over here this one comes over here this zero comes over here and over here we introduce a new zero and this is the second shift so this would be our answer and the denary value for this is 42 actual arithmetic answer for 171 divided by 4 is 42.75 but we only get in uh, logical binary shift we only get 42 this is because working with binary doesn't use decimals we c you can only uh, represent whole numbers so only positive binary integers so any decimal part is always discarded these bits are called least significant bits and when they are shifted beyond the right hand column binary data loses precision due to overflow because there is no ninth bit over here so this part is lost hence we cannot represent the decimal part now let's have uh, an example of multiplying by 2 this is the number and we have to multiply it with 2 its denary value is 92 and one shift means multiplication of 2 so we would perform one shift and how do we do, do that this 0 comes over here this zero comes over here basically okay let's start from here this zero jumps over there and becomes overflow this one comes over here this uh, zero comes over here this one uh, is jumped over here okay hold on a minute now this this is more appropriate this zero comes over here this one comes over we have to perform so we have to perform left shifts so this zero comes over here this zero comes over here this one comes over here let me draw arrows this zero comes over here and this zero comes over here and this one becomes this this one becomes this this one is shifted over here this zero is shifted over here this one is shifted over here and this zero is shifted beyond the value 8-bit register value so this is uh, discarded whereas the place which is left now we fill it with a zero and we get the denary answer as 184 this is clearly a limit to the number of shifts which can be carried out if the binary number is stored in a 8-bit register eventually eventually after a number of shifts the register would only contain zeros for example if we shift 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 denary value 112 5 places left the equivalent to multiplying by 2 raised to power 5 means 32 in an 8-bit register we would end up with 000 why because each number is going to take five jumps so this zero would jump five times this one would jump time five times uh, le uh, let me show you zero one 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 zero 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 this is the number now if you make it jump five times so what would happen is that basically each number is going to move five times 
so the zero is going to take a shift five times towards the left it would be eradicated this one is going to take a shift five times eradicated again this is deleted this is deleted this one two three four five six now if this zero takes a jump of five then that means one two three four five this zero would come over here and this zero would come over here and this zero would come over here how you may ask because we have multiplied it with five shifts this zero comes over here and again this zero comes over here and the places which we are left obviously we are supposed to fill them with zero 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 so it all of it becomes zero whereas if you multiply 112 by 32 you should not be getting the answer as zero see if i open the calculator and i multiply uh, 112 with 32 I should be getting this answer 3584 this is never equal to 0 so this would result in the generation of an error message so just remember there is always a limit to how much multiplication and division you can perform on a register the next thing which we have in section 1.1 is 2's complement now what is 2's complement binary numbers only have two values either a 0 or a 1 so putting a negative sign before number isn't possible one of the method used by modern cpus to represent negative numbers is called 2's complement to represent a negative number cpus are first set up to see the furthest or the further left bit as a sign bit so if sign bit is 0 number is considered positive if it is 1 number is taken as negative let's have a, a look at an example let's suppose this is an 8 bit register so the leftmost bit is declared as a sign bit okay this one In so how do you uh, write it invert all the bits change all zeros to ones and ones to zeros and add one this is the simple way of write down 29 as 2's complement format how do you do that since 29 is a positive number so in the leftmost bit you write a 0 and then you simply write the value for 29 in binary that would be this number ok and so and we can ch and for confirmation we are going to check 16 plus 8 plus 4 equals to 29 whereas uh, if you have to write minus 58 as 2's complement since it is a negative number the minus 1 to 8 or the m uh, most left bit left column would have a value of 1 step 1 convert 58 to binary and it is going to give us this value we are going to check it for precision and yes it gives us 58 step to invert the binary means in place of 0 write down a 1 and in place of 1 write down a 0 and then add 1 to it 1 plus 1 is 10 1 plus 0 1 1 0 0 0, 0 1 1 so we have added 1 to it okay and the next step fill the grid given grid here we go cross check it for precision minus 128 because it has a value of 1 plus 64 plus 4 plus 2 equals to minus 58 and we have an our answer when applying 2's complement it, it isn't always necessary for a binary number to have 8 bits the examiner may give you 6 bit 8 bit uh, 12 bit or any other number of bits register in the paper just remember that whatever would be the leftmost bit it would always have a negative sign in the exam in the Cambridge exam you will be given a grid like this and if the leftmost bit is negative 
it has a value of negative the examiner is going to give you these values as well whatever it is minus 64 minus 32 minus 128 minus 256 so just remember that you have to uh, convert the given number uh, you have to represent the given number in two's complement format and not in plain binary okay so i hope you have understood uh, if you have any problem feel free to ask me take care allah Hafiz.